Hi, Geminis. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to your December 2024 Love Tarot Reading. Today, I'm going to ask Spirit, what is coming your way in December? What do they have for you? Any loving messages to share? I do have initials for you today. I do have charms, so we will be using some of those. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's newly guided here. Spirit, what loving messages do you have for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watchers? Always welcome. What is it that you have for us? I am listening for you now. Let's see what they need you to know, what you have to hear, what's coming to you. I have we're on different pages, naughty and nice. Okay. Are we thinking different things? Are we thinking, do we want the same thing? I have a sweet offer. Nice. I have a celebration coming. I like the sweet offer. And I have comfortable, feeling comfortable, being by your side, this feeling of being at home with you. I like the celebration. I like the sweet offer. And I like the home. I like the at home and I like the sweet offer coming. What's the sweet offer, Spirit? I'm going to ask Spirit what that is, that I want to spend time with you, that I want you to come to my home. I'm going to cook you dinner. <laughs> We're going to put a fire on, watch a movie, I'm going to do something fun. All right. I have bad intentions. Now you may be worried about, is this person only wanting one thing with that naughty or nice? Is this turning into that they're only looking for something physical? But I'm not. With that sweet offer and the celebration, I, I feel that they they could be very attracted to you. And yes, they could be coming on strong. They could be really hitting on you physically or very sexually attracted to you. But it doesn't mean that their intentions, that's all they want. They could just be really excited to have met you. I like the helping hand, but they want to try to help you in other areas of your life. They could be asking you, do you need help around your house? Do you need help with your car? They're good at fixing things, Spirit just said. So you've got somebody that's pretty clever or handy in some way. I have a sense of satisfaction. I'm happy to be with you. I'm comfortable to be with you. So this is this feels like I want to I want to settle in in some way. I like the equal exchange um, of energy. But what's jumping out at me is there's a little baby um, gingerbread cookie. Can you see the gingerbread cookie? Let me see if it's a, you see the gingerbread cookie up here in the corner. And it jumped into me as somebody who loves, I want to say, do you remember those cookies like ginger snaps? I think they are. They're like crunchy. Um, I think they're ginger snap cookies, but I, I not a lot of people like those. They, a lot of people, a lot of people don't like that flavor. But I think your person loves ginger snaps. That <laughs> they point or a gingerbread cookie. Like they'll be the first to say, "Yeah, I love gingerbread. I, I love gingerbread cookies. I love uh, this time of year." So spirits sharing with me, it's bigger than that. That they have a real sweet tooth. That they they could be um, love baked goods or they could love to bake. That could be something that they like to do. It could be their hobby. They could be a really good baker. Um, maybe they do it for a living, spirit saying, okay, so that's interesting. Let me know if anybody's a baker out there. I love to bake over the holidays. Do you guys like to bake over the holidays? Comment below. Let me know. Let's see. Um, I have a three of swords. I have all my Christmas cards out. I have a seven of swords. I, um, I got to tell you, let me stop for a second because I got to tell you what I just felt. I felt this letter going into this box and I felt like somebody was, somebody's looking for you. Somebody is wanting to know what you're doing. And it's almost a feeling of this is this, it is a feeling of this is over, but this person is, I'm going to say trying to come back into your energy right when you move on. And it is a feeling of, I, I don't want this person in my energy. This person is trying to message you. They're trying to reach out to you. Um, they're definitely interested in knowing what you're doing. So you could have somebody from your past that 
is having a hard time with you moving on with a new connection or has gotten wind that you are moving on with a new connection. And now I feel like they're all of a sudden interested in you again, and you may hear from that person again. So for some of you, just keep, just keep saying no, you know, if you're not interested, you're not interested, obviously, but I feel like they're curious. They're using the, your word curious. They're, they want to see, are you really, is this going to be real? Are you really into this person? Um, but they had their chance and they had you and they lost it. So they don't have the right to interfere with your future path. They don't have the right to interrupt your new direction. So you can block that energy. You don't have to invite that energy back into your life. So and, and it is a, a lying energy. It's it's somebody who was deceitful to you is how I feel. So we don't want that energy back. I have a justice card. You want somebody to be fair and equal to you. I have a temperance. You have peace at this point in your life. You definitely don't want to open up this past door. You've worked really hard to have a peace of mind or to be in a healthy healing energy. So we are not going to let this is a very toxic energy. We're not, we're not going to let this person come back. I have a ten of swords. It is put to an end. Thank you, spirit. Spirits confirming that this person is not coming back. We don't want this person back. So there, we are not going backwards. We're moving forward. We have somebody that's much stronger in your life, somebody who is in control of their own destiny, Spirit just said, somebody who's wrapping even your children in their arms. So for those of you that have children, it's a feeling of I love you and I love your children, even if they're grown children, having a good relationship with them. Um, trying to coordinate family things so that they can be involved with this new relationship. And they're not afraid to be a part of it. They're not afraid to um, be there with the kids, be there with you. They don't want to take away any time from you having time, special time with your with your children. So, But they are very involved. In fact, I think they go out of their way to create activities that would involve your children so that we can do more family things. So I, I like that, that um, they see it as the big picture. I have a seven of cups. Took a while to get here. That's okay. <laughs> Took a while to get here. And, and the Six of Swords is coming into me as I've just been waiting. It, it's almost this feeling of I've just been waiting to get to the other side. And now all of a sudden, the other side is opening up with this one particular person. It, it's a little bit of that feeling of what a difference a day makes, what a difference um, a year makes. So you could enter into a relationship with somebody and then look back on it in a year from now and, and realize like your whole life has changed. You could want to have, be living with this person. You could be talking about a future with this person. Your children or their children could be involved in your life and they weren't in your life before. Um, so it, it's a very uh, strong feeling to me right now of this person is going to change your life. And it's in for good reason. And you just, what a difference a day makes is the best way for me to say it because I think there's going to be a day that you look back on this connection and say, had I not met you, I don't even know where I would be today. I guess I'd just be doing the same thing as I was doing, you know, a year ago. But they are coming into your life and your whole life is about to change. I have a king of pentacles. There's a lot of security. This person's very secure. This person has a lot to offer. They have nothing to hide. Spirit just said, I feel like they are very open with the material world. They're very open with sharing with you how much money they have in the bank, how much money they make, um, anything like that. I think they want you to know because I think they want you to um, trust them. And part of trust is knowing uh, what, what's going on with them financially. I have a four swords. It is a feeling of I waited for this. I have a nine of pentacles. I want you to feel secure. So this person could have more than you do, and that's okay. Not every relationship is going to be 100% equal. Some relationships are going to be that somebody makes more money than the other. It's just the nature of meeting people. But this person could be very, very secure. And they could be saying to you, I want, 
I want your life to be easier. Let me help you. Let me make your life easier. They're not giving you handouts, Spirit just said. They are just trying to make your life easier because they love you. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. They're not, you know, buying your love or anything like that. We're talking about at when you are at the point where you love each other and you have established a relationship that the nature of this relationship in this particular person is they just have more. So they want to share it with you. And they're saying bottom of the deck, I have an ace of cups. So it's because we love each other. So it says ha a happy Christmas and when over many happy ones in store. So many more, but it is a feeling of uh, love. It's because I love you. Let me help you and let me make your life easier is how it just came into me let's let's grab some initials let's see what the initials are saying just a reminder if you do not see or hear your person's initials this these are just general readings so sometimes you'll see things that have meaning to you and sometimes you won't but it doesn't mean that the reading um, doesn't have something for you okay there should be something here for everybody so Take with you what connects to you. Um, if you do see your person's initials or it made sense to you, great. You know, comment below and say, oh, my God, that was my initials. That was my person's initials. I can't believe you just said that. Whatever it is, whatever connects to you. You know, we're all here for the same reason to uh, manifest love and to learn about love and to remind ourselves how worthy and deserving we are, at least here on my channel. <laughs> That's my focus. All right. Let's see what... Um, Let's see what the cards say. I have, I have a death card. There's the end of the toxic relationship. Gone, dead, buried. Okay, gone, dead, buried. I have, I have a star. This is what I've wished for. Okay, the celebration coming, and I have a high priestess. Your intuition is telling you that this feels good. This person is connecting to your family. This person could be connecting to your children. They're saying they fit right in. Um, they just feel like they just, you know, walked into your life. And um, sometimes people do. I. I you know, it, it, sometimes it's easy, isn't it? And other times it's really difficult. So you kind of go, why is it so easy? But I do feel this sense of they, they walked into your life like it was easy. And you're kind of looking at it going, what a difference a day makes, uh, which makes sense um, with what I'm saying. I have the letter N. I have another N. Okay. I have the letter... I have the letter C, I have a D, I have an H, B, T, L, P, I have two P's, I have a U, an O, I have a Q, and I have another C, and then I have some numbers. I have the number six, could be June, six days, six weeks, the number eight. eight. I feel like I want to do 88, and it could be a year. It could be a year somebody's born. It could be a it could be it could be a year. I feel like it's 1988 for some reason. I have an a one, I have a three, thirteen. And I have a two. So that feels like February. That two feels like February to me. So those are the those are the letters, if those have any meaning to you. And let's get some additional messages. So what what I really like about this connection so far is that this person is going to change your life <laughs> from in, in such a good way that you're going to look back and say, I don't even remember my life without you. I, I guess I do. I remember being alone or I remember who I was hanging out with or the things that I was doing. But I feel like it's such a significant change in your life that it's almost unbelievable. I have a beauty, beauty, beautiful. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. Keeping it simple keeping it uh, easy. I, there's a sense of me like we're perfectly happy sitting at home and 
putting on a fire would be great if you live somewhere that has fireplaces, lighting candles, putting some soft music on, talking, have a cup, cup, cup of coffee or a glass of wine, having some appetizer or something like that. I feel like we're perfectly fine doing something simple like that. Like we don't have to be out at a five-star dinner. Not that we wouldn't do those some days, but I feel like that one-on-one -on -one is really all we're looking for right now. And it doesn't really even matter where it is. It's it, whether it's at your house or my house or at a coffee shop, it doesn't matter. It's that one-on-one -on -one connection that I'll, that's what I'm looking for right now. I have affection. Beautiful. Love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. True. You are beautiful. You are everything that this person's looking for. So they should see you as you're perfect. You're perfect for them. And they shouldn't ever be judging you in any way. They shouldn't be telling you, certainly never telling you that you need to change for them um, because you're not asking them to change for you. So they should love you for who you are. Let's get one more. I have rest. I need some rest. Take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. Quiet your mind long enough to hear. That is always one of the things that I say, because sometimes our minds are so packed with life that we can't even hear ourselves think. And sometimes we need to think. We need to think about our future. We need to think about the energy that's coming into our life and where do we want to put our time and how do we want to invest our time into someone else so you have to give yourself that time to clear your mind long enough so that you can see what's best for you spirit please share with me this is a new tarot deck for me for my holidays uh, i try to buy uh, i buy tarot cards all the time probably too many but Around the holidays, I try to add a couple to my Christmas collection. So this is um, a Christmas uh, Rider Waite Smith deck, which I'm really excited about. I have a tower. I have a Knight of Pentacles. I have a Queen of Cups. And I have a Queen of Swords. Now, these queens know what they want. I got to tell you that these queens are not going to be shy saying, I deserve to be loved. I know what makes me happy. I am not going to settle for anything less than somebody who respects me and honors me and cares for me. So these queens are pretty strong. So if that's you and you're a queen, then you know what it is that you want and you know what it is that you need. And going back to this tower, it's a feeling of, I don't ever want to be here again. And for those of you that have been through a divorce and you're entering into another long-term connection and even a second marriage, you don't ever want to go through what you went through with that divorcing that first marriage. You know, I wouldn't wish a divorce on anybody. So it's the, the wisdom that this queen I feel has gained from ending a very difficult situation is made that person know exactly what he or she wants. And they're working towards it. This night is working towards it. This night isn't giving up on themselves until somebody comes along and says, let me make your life a little bit easier. I have a lot to give and you're exactly the type of queen that I wanna give it to. So this queen is given a sense of grace and a gift and it's a little bit of a, a lucky break in a sense that your perfect person's coming along. Look at this beautiful king. Isn't he handsome? Look at him with his, his winter his winter coat. <laughs> I love that. It's like a winter shawl uh, cape, I guess. I have a four of cups, three of cups, and I have a ten of pentacles. So there, there it is again. I really feel like this king has a lot to offer. It's not only the material world to keep you safe and comfortable, but it's, it's how they feel about you. It's, it's a feeling of I want to wrap myself around you and make your life better. Um, let, me, let me do that for you. 
because I want you in my life because you're bringing a lot to this person. OK, it's not about what you have or what they have. It's that you're bringing this queen energy of wisdom and love and caring and kindness um, to another person. And this person is just wants to reward you in a way and make your life easier. But they're getting a lot out of it, too. It's not like it's one sided. They're getting you. OK, they're getting you. And it is a feeling of what did they say in the beginning? This it's a sweet offer. But <laughs> here's a Knight of Cups. Um, so it's it's because I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love with you and I want to give you the wor world. So that's the bottom line. You, you don't get to decide who you fall in love with, with or when. And you guys know, as well as I do, you don't fall in love with everybody. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God we don't. But when we do fall in love, it takes a special person to fall in love with. So if this person's falling in love with you, it's because you're special and they want you in their life. I have a page of cups. I think right from the beginning, they had feelings for you. And then all of a sudden they realized that their feelings were very intense, that not only did they have feelings, butterflies, a crush, that they realized that you really had captured them. You have captured their heart and they are now definitely thinking about a future. And I love I love the holding the present. It's like the future's in my hands and and you are the present. You are it. You're the you're my future. So if they haven't said it to you already, you've got somebody coming into your energy that is is planning to spend the rest of their life with you. Let's get some charms. Let's see what the charms are saying. I've got this beautiful bowl of charms and my magic scoop. So I'm going to give these a little stir so I get some different ones. And let's, let's see. Okay. Wow. We. Okay. <laughs> Spirit wants me to do a lot of charm readings. Okay. Let's start with the letters. I have the letter E. I have a V. Let's see if there's any more letters. Okay, I have a sign. I have, what does this say? I have a cancer. Could be a cancer. Okay, what does this say? This says, find joy in the journey. And I like this Cinderella. Let's put these two together because it's Cinderella's carriage and it's find joy in the journey. So it's almost this fairy tale, right? That this is going to turn, you know, the pumpkin turns into the carriage. And it is a feeling of like, get in, <laughs> get into the carriage and let's start this journey together. So I'm going to put those two together to start. Let's see. I like that. I like that that's a journey. What is this? This is another cancer. So cancer strong. Something strong about cancer. And is this another journey? Find joy in the journey. So we both want it. I'm going to say it that way. I'm going to put the carriage between us. We both want to find joy. We both want to be happy on this journey. It's not like one person is ready to start this journey. We both want it. So I think that's important to know. And then we both want to have, um, this is saying faith, hope, and love. And I also feel two things I'm feeling. I feel like we could be the same. We could be have the same faith, okay, whatever the faith is. But we both believe in love. We both believe and we both have hoped for something like this. And you could say that to each other. You could say, I always hoped that I would find somebody like you. Or I was always wishing that somebody would love me as much as I loved them. You know, because you might have been in a relationship where you gave all the time, you weren't getting back what you wanted out of the relationship, and it was very one sided. So, this is very, very equal. I will say that. Okay, what else am I feeling? What does this say? Um, live your dream. I like that. How about your dream coming true? This is what I've always wanted. I like that. 
I like the, I'm going to put the, the Cinderella's castle um, with the live your dream because I'm going to say dream home. <laughs> I'm going to say dream home that we create a dream home together. We decorate a dream home. We buy a dream home together. Um, we have a home that is our, our life home that will stay, you know, in that we'll have our marriage there or raise our kids there or, or whatever, but it feels like it's a important to us. I do have a, I definitely feel like I have a sweet tooth and I feel like I have a baker. I don't feel like I have a cook as much as I have a baker. This is a measuring cup. So I do feel like one of you is uh, a sweet tooth and one of you loves to bake. Maybe that's something that you guys do together. Maybe that's something that you bake cookies or you make Christmas cookies and decorate them. You know, it's something fun. But I do feel that that's something that is important to somebody. I just, they're definitely, uh, definitely a baker. Somebody, somebody out there is a baker. And I have a lion. I'm going to put that as a Leo. I'm going to put that as a Leo. And I have a bow. It's a little white bow. It's coming into me as um, somebody has a dog. <laughs> I know you're going to laugh. It, it came into me as a dog that goes to the groomers. And you know when you put the bow on the they come home with like around the holidays, like they would put a pretty bow on. Um, so I feel like it's a little girl dog. It could be a little boy dog and they, maybe that's why it's white, but it is a feeling of the dog got groomed and the dog came home with a big bow and looks so cute. So somebody has a dog that does need to go to the groomer or does go to a groomer. So that I will take. The broom is coming into me as it came into me as a clean freak. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but I've got cleanliness is, is like this, this somebody who, this dream home, this person is doing projects. They're sweeping out the garage. They are sweeping off the patio, the, the sidewalk, you know, like they, they just take care of everything. So um, they could be a little bit of a, um, and I feel like it's more outdoors for some reason. I, I know it's a broom, but I feel like I'm brushing off uh, like a deck or a patio. Maybe they hang out on a deck and they cook on a deck and, and there's all kinds of pine needles or leaves or something like that on the deck. So they're always sweeping the deck. So that that's coming into me. I have a eagle and I have an anchor. These feel like tattoos. These feel like I'm connected to the military, possibly. I could be connected to, it, it's a, I don't know if it's a dragon or an eagle, but I'm going with eagle. And it feels like I have, um, I have tattoos, possibly from the military. And th this could be somebody else in your family. It could be like a father, had a had a anchor tattoo it could be something like that but i do feel i feel like it's it's connected to the military and and a tattoo all right let's see what else yeah and they have a rest in peace i'm going to put this as a a lost loved one i have a rest in peace i think whoever this is is a lost father or grandfather that possibly was in the service like the navy okay um and possibly had a couple of tattoos that either represented like the years they were in the navy or service and you know like um, i don't know the i want to say the troop that they belong to or whatever the the name of the um group that they were in so and I'm getting a black star. I'm going to put this all with this. I don't even know if that's an official thing. Like maybe this person was given an award. Maybe this person was given a service award of some kind that when they when they pass, that they were a hero of some kind. And maybe that's really important to somebody's family. So um, let me know if that has meaning to anybody. And I have a watermelon. 
Okay. I don't know. I'm just going to put that in the category of it's not really having a ton of meaning to me other than somebody who eats healthy. <laughs> they could eat a lot of healthy fr fruits and vegetables. I could have one that's a sweet tooth and one that eats really healthy, <laughs> you know, like one will eat all the all the junk that they can find and anything sweet that's in the house. And the other one is, you know, going for an apple and peanut butter, you know, so um, it's I feel like maybe you guys are on different um, on different pages there as far as snacks. All right. Let's see what else they have for us. But I really, really love this. Um, I'm falling in love with you. I, I, I really want that for you. And let's see what they have. Spirit, tell me more for my Geminis. What is it that you have for us? I have busy elves. I'm going to put that with the broom. <laughs> I really feel like this person does projects. It's the person who likes to get stuff done. It's the person who decides I'm going to paint a room and they don't just say it. They go out and they get the supplies. They tape off the room. They clear up the room. They paint it. They put everything back together. So this person is very project orientated or you guys could be. I like that there's two elves. So you guys could be like busy little bees with doing projects around the house together and maybe a little construction project, something like that. But Maybe you guys work really well as a team and you love to do those types of things. I have an ornament. Okay, that's coming into me more as our first Christmas or buying um, something for the tree that represents us. Maybe one of us gives an ornament to the other as a part of a Christmas present. And that's kind of celebrating um, our anniversary or our first year together, something along those lines. And I have a heart. It's also the same feeling. It's the first year that we put our stockings together. It could be the first year that we hang stockings with each other's um, names on them. But Or there's going to be a day that literally our stockings are hanging together. And it's Spirit's way of saying, look, there's two of you. And you're going to be together. You're going to be together someday. And I have a party. We could meet this person at a party. They could be taking you to a party. Uh, but um, it, it's very social and fun and having a good time. So get ready, get your get your party clothes out, get your party clothes out, get ready to get dressed up and go have a good time. A work party, a family party, something like that. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need my Geminis to know today? I have a four of swords. I have a six of wands. Look at growing old together. I have a devil. I'm going to put these two together. And I want to go back to that feeling I had. I have a ten of swords. I'm going to put that over here too. I have a queen of cups. And I have a five of wands. So something has been put to an end. I mean, whoever this was, there, there could be somebody that is really trying to disturb your life and trying to interfere into interfere with your peace of mind your healing you're moving forward and it is a feeling of how do I get this person out of my life or I didn't even ask for them to return or I didn't invite them back by any means but there's always that one person who it's 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 as soon as you are moving on with your life it's almost like intuitively they know and that's when they decide that they're going to cause some trouble again. So just defend yourself. Okay. They're saying take matters into your own hands because you've got somebody that you're moving in the right direction with for the first time. You've got somebody that wants to love you. They're saying even wholeheartedly and they want to grow old with you. So whoever this is, they're in it for the long run and this person is spinning their wheels because they lost you. Okay, you're the one that got away and they don't want you to be with anybody else. So somebody's jealous, that's all. I have a star. Just keep focusing on what's ahead of you. That's, that's what spirit wants for you right now. I have an empress. 
I really like this. I, I really like this feeling of they see you. They're saying incoming love and romance. So this empress, empress is ready to accept this love. This empress is excited about somebody coming into their life and bringing them balloons or bouquets of flowers or greeting them at the door with a kiss and being excited to see them. I have strength. I love you with all my heart. I want to give you my heart. I want to give you my heart. And bottom of the deck, I have temperance. Resolving any issues that hold us back. I like that for temperance. And it's saying, I mean, temperance to me is always, of course, a balance. But I do see that we have to be, um, we can't hold on to anything in order to move forward. So temperance is a sense of peace and comfort. And if we're holding on to past regrets or anything that would be preventing us from moving forward, then that's not where we want to be. We want to be have the strength to move forward. We want to have the resolve to not hold back in any connection. But right now, I, I love the Empress being held and and this, this feeling of, I want to give you the world. I really feel like this person's, you know, wants to give you the world. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you want us to know? I worry others will pull you away from me. The ex knocking on your door would definitely be cause for concern for somebody new. Why is your ex calling you? Why is why are they reaching out to you now, now that I'm in your life? So you're going to have to put that to bed. You're going to have to say, don't ever call me again. Don't block them. You know, get put it. To, you can't have any kind of connection with somebody um, like that. Your, your new person's going to walk away. You're, you're all I've ever wanted. You are my destiny. So this person sees a future. Absolutely. And you are so beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. I need you here. I need you here with me now. I feel like I want to say now. I want you here with me now. Um, I can't wait to be with you. And I really liked the feeling of us just kind of hanging out with music and sitting on the couch and talking and, and just enjoying each other's company. I, I don't feel like I have to be entertained to be with this person. Spirit, please share with me. So thank you for these messages, Spirit. We're going to do some blessings here at the end. What does Spirit want you to be? Have some blessings heading into December and into Christmas for those of you that celebrate Christmas. And some blessings. A blessing on your boundaries, okay, that somebody doesn't cross the line. Somebody respects you. They honor you that you know what's important to protect and, and what you want to guard. A blessing on a friendship that, and a love, a new lover coming into your life is, is a friendship. It is your best friend. So you could be saying, I just want this friendship to grow. I want this love to grow. And I want this person to turn into my best friend for life. So um, it could be a blessing on that. And let's get one more a blessing of the earth. So there's the material world coming in, the tree, putting down roots, growing together, a sense of building upon something. So again, this person wants to give you the world because you bring so much to them. You bring so much into their life that they want to share what they have with you. So we're going to we're going to put this out to the universe. I want you to claim it. I want you to own it. Comment below. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words, everybody. If anybody would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.